What's up guys, Tai here with Primo Collectibles and welcome back to our channel where we share with you the hottest statue unbox and review. Today, we are going to share with you the 5th characters of Iron Kai Naruto series, Hyuga Hinata. Alright, let's get into the unbox now. So this is Hyuga Hinata, the wife of Naruto, and this is also the fifth Naruto statue from Iron Kite that we unboxed. If you missed out the previous unbox, you can check them at the link in the description. Let's quickly go through to the spec. This is 1-4 scale, the length is 43cm, and the width is 45cm, as for the height is 51cm. The weight is approximately 20kg, and the statue is also limited to only 388 pieces worldwide. So the concept design of this statue is based on the scene where Naruto is captured by the Diva Path pain and Hinata come to defense for Naruto and this is also one of the pivotal moments when Hinata expressed her love for Naruto for the first time. Okay, starting from the base, the base is mainly based on the pain fight scene and the first time the bottom rounded part of the base is now different with their previous releases. It looks more elegant now with the silver type of paint along with the pattern that goes around rather than just plain black in the past. In addition, they also come with two exchangeable nameplates, one with Hyuga Hinata name in kanji and another is a purple looking Hinata name in English. The scalp of the main base are decent, the texture and the paint of the rocks looks great. We have some steel rocks on the ground, I'm not sure if these steel rocks are actually coming from paint. We have white smoke coming up from the base and there are some rock pieces that attach to the white smoke, making those rock pieces look like floating in the air. The base is not overly complicated but it does blend in well with the scene. Okay, now let's move on to Hinata. The outfit of Hinata looks great. There are some fine texture details on her pants. They are subtle and it does blend in well and bring out the fabric realism. The folds and creases of her jacket looks great and natural. The paint of her jacket are more towards minor glossy. To differentiate the two different types of material on her pants and jacket, there are some dust and dirt effect on her jacket and this is because she is in the middle of the fight. Hinata came with two exchangeable hands. The first one is the normal hand for her regular battle stance and the other hand is her signature gentle twin lion fist which is also one of my favorite options for the statue. The scalp of her twin lion fists are really great but they actually appear bigger than how they should have shown in the anime. The lion fists are cast in transparent resin and painted in blue and what really cool is you can see there are different blue gradation on those lions. In order to bring out the different expression of Hinata, there are three exchangeable headscouts of Hinata. The normal face, bleeding face and the battle expression with Byakugan activated. And this time, they finally included a base where you can display your alternate portrait as a bust. This is really nice addition for the statue that have multiple portraits. 
Each head scout has a different expression and you can mix and match to your liking for different poses. Most importantly are these three head scout, the lightness are spot on. Iron Kite always did a great job on the head scout and all these three Hinata head scout are very much to what she looks like in the anime. I like the way how her hair flow to give you the sense of motion and dynamic looking. I'm glad that Iron Kite did the hair right to make it in a whole one piece. If you still recall the another Hinata from other company that we unboxed, they cut the hair in two separate parts, leaving it with an obvious seam line, which looked very weird. And here, let's take a 360 look at the different poses with different head scalp. Alright guys, that's all about the one four scale Hinata from Iron Kite Studio. I really like what Iron Kite has done with the one four scale Naruto lineup, and they also have Tsunade, Kakashi, and Itachi. They are currently in the production, but what I heard, Tsunade is about to complete soon. So remember to subscribe to our channel and don't miss out our future unbox. And let us know in the comment below which is your favorite post of Hinata. I will see you soon in the next video.